it's Andrew. So this is going to be a video showing you how to connect your M1 MacBook Pro to your TV screen wirelessly using the built-in Apple AirPlay feature. I previously did a video last night that showed you how to connect your uh, MacBook Pro to the TV using an HDMI adapter. Um, you can refer to that video uh, for details on that. But the issue I ran into this morning was I found that when I was using the HDMI adapter, I had to put the computer directly up next to the TV to have it connected. And using the built-in wireless features as far as a mouse and a keyboard, it was kind of inconvenient to have it that way because from afar, sitting at like a couch distance, uh, the cursor on the mouse was very small. And so I had a lot of issues navigating the different screens. And so I tried to increase the cursor size and it was inconvenient where um, it would be large on the TV screen or appropriate size on the TV screen. But then when I switched over to the MacBook Pro, um, the cursor size was still large. And so you had to customize it for each or when you disconnected it, you had to readjust the cursor size, which was a minor inconvenience. Um, you could still use the TV that way, but it was just, it didn't work effectively. Um, so as I was going through that process, I was messing with the display features and I found that on the MacBook Pro, um, under the display settings, you can directly connect wirelessly to your TV. And so in this video, I wanted to go over how to do that uh, specifically. And so what I'll do first is set up the computer um, and we'll go to the navigate through the different screens and I'll show you how to connect directly um, to your TV for this. Um, for this, all you'll need is your M1 MacBook Pro and then you'll need some sort of TV that's already connected wirelessly. Uh, this is a, a Roku TV, so it connects uh, through like streaming and everything wirelessly, so that has a built-in capability, but you'll have to check your TV's features to see if you can um, connect uh, directly through the M1 MacBook Pro to your TV, uh, but that's all you'll need as far as connectivity. Okay, so here's my M1 MacBook Pro. Um, I'm already logged in. Uh, what you'll have to do is navigate up to the Apple icon in the top left and then go down to System Preferences. Uh, and when you go to System Preferences, go to the Displays uh, set screen or setting here feature here, um, and that'll get you to the screen. Um, immediately, what you'll see is on the bottom left-hand corner here, it says Apple Play Display, or, or AirPlay Display. Um, currently, it's set off. And so once you go here, if you have a wireless TV, um, it should be able to directly recognize the TV. So this is the one that I have in the bedroom, and then this is a separate, this one in the living room. Um, so what you can do is just click on the, um, the, dis the TV display for the living room one or the, the one that you want. Um, I'm gonna show you real quick what pops up on the screen. And so on the screen here, it'll bring up a five digit or four digit icon, um, and you'll have to input that into your uh, computer. And so this is 5513. And so I'll put that in here, 5513. And then it'll automatically log in um, with the actual screen up. And so currently it's set up as a mirror display. And so um, as you can tell, everything's set up there and you can directly work from the um, MacBook Pro now from a distance um, on the couch or from a further distance to, to work that way. Um, it's set up as a mirror display, so everything that's built it, like on the screen for them when MacBook Pro pops up in a mirrored fashion here. And then the nice thing is you can also customize the um, screen features here. So you can uh, customize it so it's scaled specifically to your your like personal preferences, or there's a built-in like default setting that's set best for the Roku TV. And so this is the best setting here. Um, if you hit the scaled, um, you can scale it with different features here. I'm not gonna mess with it. Additionally, um, let me go back to best. You can also change the brightness um, of your actual uh, laptop. And so if you're working from afar here and you don't want the laptop screen on, you can raise or lower it that way. And so that's a pretty nice feature. Um, additionally, you can, um, let me go back up here so you can see it. Um, you can hit automatic adjust brightness or turn, like you can turn that on or off and then you can change it to true tone or not. Um, so those are the features on that screen. Um, the other ones are, it, you can potentially change the color. I didn't mess with that at all. And then you can do night shift. I have this built in already. So I don't know if this is different from my built in red in a display. Um, but as far as the Roku TV, these are all the settings that you have there. Um, once you close out of the system preferences menu um, here, um, you'll be good to go. The only other thing I wanted to show you is, we'll show it on the, the actual laptop. Um, 
up here on the top right here, um, it has screen mirroring. So there's gonna be two, an icon with two separate screens there. Um, you can go directly here and turn the mirroring screen on and off right here. Um, so you can basically set it up as a, a mirrored screen like it currently is or use this as a separate screen. Um, so when I have it set up as a separate screen, it'll sit side by side. And so then um, I can work uh, separately and still use the laptop as a separate screen. Uh, this is good for if you're using it really as a monitor, but if you're working from a distance, I recommend the mirror display just because you, it, it'll probably be a little bit more convenient. Um, also on that um, feature there, let me go back to it. Sorry. Um, you can also turn on and off um, the actual uh, feature here. So you can basically just turn it off and it'll automatically go back to um, using your laptop separately. Um, the only thing, the last thing I want to show you um, on the actual TV, sorry if the angle's a little bit weird, um, is on the actual TV, uh, you can use the control for the TV to customize the features here as well. And so if I click here on the AirPlay features, I can go change how the login works. So this, um, this is basically if it's on or off, um, you can turn it off directly or turn it on. You, you can do the code. So you can either have the code set um, like it previously displayed either the first time only or every time, uh, or you can specifically put a password in so that it has to log in um, every single time, or you can reset it at that place. Point. I'm going to have it just for the first time only because it'll be more convenient that way. Um, all you have to do is hit, hit the back button here. You can change the subtitles and captioning um, as far as the font and everything like that on this screen. And then lastly, it kind of gives you information about AirPlay and um, the features there as far as what's built in for that. Um, and then it has something for HomeKit. I don't know anything about that yet, so I can't really speak to it. But that's everything really for the Apple AirPlay. I found this just haphazardly when I was looking through the display features. It's really convenient and easy to use. I use it all day for about like eight hours of lectures today. Um, it allows you to use the laptop from afar, from a distance at like couch level. And so if, if you have a wireless TV like this, um, like a Roku TV, and you have an M1 MacBook Pro, this is an easy built-in convenient solution um, other than using an adapter. I don't know how well it works for um, connectivity as far as games and things like that. I don't know if there's going to be some sort of delay, so you might have to look into that as far as the connection there uh, and whether you have delays as far as for gaming or things. But this does work effectively for like business purposes as far as streaming content directly from your laptop to the screen. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope that helped. If you have any questions or anything, please post them below and uh, please like and subscribe to my videos. Thanks a lot for watching.